Hello friends, my name is Bailey. I'm a second year, third grade teacher in Florida, and this is a week in my life. It's currently Wednesday. I'm starting this week in my life a little bit late this week because I was actually out the last two days. I took these days off like two months ago just to kind of give myself two days to recharge before the end of the year. That's exactly what I did. I feel so like ready to tackle these last 15 days. Isn't that crazy? 15 days left. I also will be showing you guys a little bit later in this video me making my kids end of the year gifts. I'm so excited. I will be using my Cricut to make them and I can't wait to show you guys. I'm so excited to see how they turn out. So currently I am in line at Krispy Kreme to pick up some donuts. I told my kids that if they did well for the sub, then I would get them donuts. So I'm giving them in good faith <laughs> that they did well. I told them I was gonna get them on Thursday, but I thought I might as well just go today and pick them up. So I gotta order right now, hold up. The donuts are secured, so let's go to school. I'm always curious to see what the room looks like when we come back from having a sub don't know what happened over here doesn't look like it's good <laughs> yeah these are coming down they already like messed with them last week and they're just getting messed up so i'm taking this down like this morning interesting very interesting <laughs> it's actually really not that bad like pretty impressed <laughs> Hello friends. So it's planning time. I just went and checked my box and I had all kinds of stuff in here. It's also teacher appreciation week. So on Monday or yesterday, I guess, I had all kinds of things in my box. I wanted to show you guys some of the things. So our teachers union gave us a, um, a bag of minutes. This is from our navigator, this little goodie bag. She's basically like, she bridges the gap between the parents and us. So like, let's say our student has like some kind of like family issue going on and like the parents are separated. She can reach out to them and provide them resources and things like that, so really cool. So this is a thing of wipes. We've got some clear nail polish, like um, the top coat. And a cute color. Ooh, some aquaphor. Oh, I love like this stuff. Yes. Like, oh my gosh, this stuff. Mm, so excited about that. My seller makeup removing box. Perfect. How sweet is that? Like, what the heck? And this is all great stuff. Well, maybe not the nail polish, but great stuff to keep here, like makeup wipes, wet wipes, chapstick. So nice. Also, that was just so sweet of her to do that. Like, imagine how much time that took to do with every single teacher here. Wow. Okay, and then I also just got a few things for my students. And they got us Jersey Mike's subs today. But, you know, homegirl is uh, gluten-free, so I can't eat a sub. But I can eat Doritos. I feel like I should be good. So I'm going to eat these. And um, just sit for a second because today has been, like... Crazy, but I'm so excited to show you guys my Cricut project after school. Okay, so I just did this. I was debating whether to pack all of my library stuff in the bins that they're in, but I feel like that would create so much wasted space. So I'm gonna pack like all of my books into a box, maybe two boxes, and then all of the bins into a box. So these are all my books, and then these are the school's books. So those are just up there. I'm gonna try and get a tote or something today or tomorrow, because I feel like a tote would hold these a lot better. I feel like a box would probably break open because it'd be so heavy. So I'm gonna go buy a tote from like Target or something to put all of that stuff in. So once I do that, I'll just have the school's books out and the kids can read those for the rest of the year. Just that way I can go ahead and get mine out of here, out of the way, don't have to worry about it. And then I used, I cannot think of her name, but if you just search like library sticker system or something, you can look it up. I just did it by um, like type of book, genre. Some of them are like by series, some of them are by genre. Some of them are just like, I put all of the like fiction animal books together, Magic Treehouse together, Junie B. Jones. And what I think I'm gonna do this summer is also add like a number because although the colors are helpful, sometimes it's kind of hard to dif differentiate the colors. Like if you see down here, like this and this, 
it's a little harder for the kids so i think i'm going to add a number as well because like especially this color and this color they look super similar so i think the numbers will also help and i'll put the numbers on the bins also so here are all of the library bins you can see where i put the like colored sticker and i also had some extra ones so i'm, I'm gonna take these home today as well and probably like pack them in a box at home and then i'm also going to take home all of that stuff today Woo. this is the current um situation with my area over here it's literally a disaster <sighs> i need it i need to clean we're gonna power clean for two seconds <laughs> Over. Okay, so now that I am done cleaning up my little area back here, I just get so stressed out when everything is so cluttered. We are going to start working on my kids end of the year gifts. I am so excited to be working with Cricut to create my students end of the year gifts. So my plan is to have water bottles and give each student a water bottle personalized with their name on the front. I feel like adding their name to it just gives it a really fun touch and it's theirs. Like it's not their sibling can't take it or it gets lost or mixed up with someone else's. Like it has their name on it. It's theirs and I feel like they would just really, really love it. So if you've never heard of Cricut before, Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized products with hundreds of materials. It works with a software called Cricut Design Space. It's free with your machine and you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. So once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut it. So I ordered 23 of these water bottles from Target. They're just very simple water bottles. I ordered black ones for all of the boys in my class. And then the only other color they had was pink. So I just did black for the boys and pink for all of the girls. So my plan is to use this super fun orange vinyl to put on the boys water bottles. And then I'm gonna use a white one on the pink. I think it just looks super, super cute. And then to transfer it from the vinyl to the water bottles, I am going to use the transfer tape by Cricut as well. So you're gonna start off in design space and this is when you need to figure out what you wanna make. So I already know that I'm just gonna be making um, blank sheets with all of their names. So I am just going to click a new project and then I will go to text. I am just going to do my name for an example and then you can choose any font that you want that they have. I really love the chalkboard one. I feel like it just reminds me of like back being in school. So we're going to do the chalkboard one. You can alter it to be whatever size you want and it gives you the measurements up here so you know exactly how big it's going to be. I'm going to do mine at about five inches go big or go home right so once you are ready to print since i am done you'll just click make it up here at the top Load out vinyl into the machine so once you have your little piece of vinyl cut out i know it's kind of hard to see right now but you'll see it once i start weeding it you will just take off that excess vinyl they also have tools like these to kind of help you do it because it can be a little tricky depending on the size of your letters and all of that so you'll just slowly peel and make sure it didn't take any letters with it so once everything is weeded out and it looks like this that's when you'll get your clear transfer tape out <laughs> Once you've got it on the transfer tape, you'll just peel back that initial back spot. Make sure that all of the vinyl is stuck to the transfer tape and not to the background. You just peel it off. Look at that. I feel like a pro right now. Stick it to your surface. Peel it off. And look at that. That's a personalized water bottle. I feel like my kids are going to freak out when they see these with their own names on them. 
I think that is so fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. You guys, I am seriously obsessed with how this turned out. I cannot wait for my kiddos to see their personalized water bottles at the last day of school. I think I might fill it with some candy or something just to make it a little more exciting for them. The Cricut machine seriously does so many different projects. It can cut all the way up to leather from vinyl to leather. Super cool. There's so many different designs you can do. The other day when I was practicing, I actually cut out a football and a lightning bolt. And it, there's just so many different things you can do through the design space and with your Cricut. So definitely check them out. I'll have links down below to Cricut if you guys are interested. Thanks again to Cricut for partnering with me on today's video. And now I'm gonna go make the rest of my students water bottles. <laughs> I got eyelash extensions. What? I was so nervous, but I really like them. I was nervous I was gonna look like crazy because y'all know I'm not very crazy with my makeup or anything like that. I'm I'm a pretty simple girly. My graduation this weekend and Sister Appreciation Week, so I've been appreciating myself and I've always wanted to do it. So I just thought I'd go for it and I love it. Like you can't even see my actual lashes. Like I don't even know where they are in there, but my normal lashes are very, they're lighter and they just go like this. They just chill like this on my head all day. So when I do mascara, I have to curl them for a really long time with an eyelash curler and use waterproof mascara, which is such a pain to get off. And I've been doing that like since I started wearing makeup, so my eyelashes, I feel like, were, like, just over it. So, I mean, I don't think this is, like, healthy for your eyelashes, but they look so good. And I feel so pretty. So, and it was, like, so short getting ready this morning. Like, because I normally spend, like, a good 10 minutes just on my eyelashes, like, curling. And then they still look bad. So, like, I don't know if I'll, like, keep doing this because it is expensive. But I feel so pretty and, like... And she said that I have a lot of lashes, so I'll probably be like a three-week client. Like, since I have so many, when I lose some, it's not going to be like that drastic of a change, you know? It's Thursday morning. I got here at 6.15. I need to clock in. But I got here early because I got two totes from Target yesterday. So I'm going to put my library books in here today. My front of the room is looking so empty i left the lights up and i left the calendar up because i think it's just fun for the kids to be able to see like how many days and like i always go over the date how many weeks till this what's going on this day so i just like to have like for them to have the visual i'll probably take the mark of the day down and then i'll probably take our classroom jobs down today also because i think we're going to keep the same jobs for the rest of the year it's just easier than trying to do all new jobs. And then I also need to take down this mirror and then I'll have pretty much all of my like wall stuff down and it will just be like furniture decor. I am going to start filling up this bucket once I clock in. I am not gonna forget, I forgot yesterday, but I'm gonna clock in and then start loading up these bad boys. Okay, so they, these two are filled with books, and then this one I filled with more books, and then the little plastic covers I used to cover stuff. I just thought I'd bring it because next year I'll be teaching third grade, so we'll be doing some kind of state testing. I don't know if we'll need to cover the walls like we do for FSA, but I'm just going to bring some just in case. So what I'm going to do now is just put these kind of on these shelves so the kids can reach them. So they'll have things that they can read. As far as the things I wanna take home today, I'm gonna to take home all of these, um, those three bins, 
my sub tub. I think that's a good amount to start with. Okay, y'all, I turned my AC off for you, so you better love me. Um, but I've loaded my car up with a ton of stuff. We have those two gray bins, that pink little ottoman, and then the four crate seats, and that's all that I packed because that's all I could fit on one cart, and I was not making two trips. So that is all that I packed, but I am happy with this. We're gonna have to find somewhere in the house to put it, probably in Max's man cave room. Oh, 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 where is this coming from? Okay, well, I have to drive now, but yeah, that's all they packed. It's the end of the day. We had a meeting during planning. Very chaotic day. I talked to my kids' sub from Monday and Tuesday, and she was like, girl, I don't know how you do it. You must drink a lot when you go home, <laughs> which I thought was funny and kind of flattering in a way. I don't know. But I'm going to go now, drive home, unpack all the stuff. I have to, like, self-tan, paint my toenails, clean my house because Friday is graduation weekend. Or tomorrow starts graduation weekend. I'm so excited. I am gonna go home and do all of that, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Ah! Hey, good morning, friends. Happy Friday. I was just telling my coworker I need to start taking every Monday and Tuesday off because this is great. Like, it's already Friday, and this is only my third day here this week. So, I'm in a great mood. I feel good. I don't feel like absolutely dead and ran over like I usually do by Fridays. So this is excellent. My room already feels like so much more empty after just taking all of the library books and those little bins from up there. And I also decided I'm gonna take some more stuff today just because there's so much to take and like I wasn't even really thinking about like all of this stuff like that's gonna be a lot so and like this stuff we use every day and I decided last or next week is our last week of homework so that's really the last time that I will need these so I'm thinking I'll keep this stuff up next week and then the week after that, which is our last full week of school, I'll start kind of taking this stuff down. I'm thinking the last things that will go will be like this stuff, just because it's fun seating and they really like it. And I'm thinking maybe like once we get like to the last like full week, letting them just like sit, it, like moving these up and just putting our desks in that pile in the corner like we always do at the end. And then they can just like sit in the fun stuff. So I thought that would be cool. But I'm thinking today I will take home this little bench right here and also maybe the rug and then I also want to take home my sub tub I might go ahead and take home my humidifier thing or my air purifier right there I don't know because our AC has been kind of like wacky lately so you like yesterday like our AC isn't on right now normally it would be on by now so like yesterday wow I cannot talk I turned that on and like put it on full blast to kind of cool the room down which was nice so I kind of don't want to get rid of like don't want to take it home yet just in case we need it, but I don't know. Also, we moved desks yesterday. You can't really tell because we did the same layout. I just swapped a lot of people, so we'll see. I mean, I really shouldn't have done that because we're literally, like, I'm going to have to separate them on Monday. Honestly, you might have to do it today. No, we'll just do it on Monday because we have to stay next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. So on Monday, we're literally going to have to separate them, but I wanted to go ahead and see how this works, kind of like a trial run. And if it works well today, then we will keep this once we're done with FSA until the rest of the year. I'm also thinking I'm going to take down the map, take down that little thing, maybe go ahead and take this stuff today. I'm just trying to take as much as I can because it's just so much. And I feel like I keep saying that. I also have a rug down under this cabinet over here. That I could probably take. I don't think I'm gonna keep it, so I guess I could just go throw it away. I don't know. I feel like I don't need it. It's just a like like a blank rug, like a just basic rug. So I think I might just toss it. Or actually, I might leave it in here because the teacher that's taking over my room, she told me she was like, if there's anything that you don't want or something you're taking down just to toss, keep it up. So like, I'm gonna leave all of this stuff. I might ask her if she still want, if she wants that mirror. Cause if she does, I'll just leave it because I was gonna buy a new one just because that's like hot glued onto that um, little door. I might break trying to get it off. So I might ask her today if she wants me to leave that. I feel like this there's something happening over here with this toilet. I also think I'm gonna take this cart today. 
that's probably gonna be as much as I can take. This little cart because we're basically done with a small group. So I might like load it up today with, with a few things and then take this bad boy home. So I'll take the cart, the sub tub, that little shelf over there. And I'm sure I'll find a few, oh, the map, some decor, and I'll probably be it for today. So very excited for the day though. I feel like I haven't really been talking to you guys like about what we're actually doing. I'm sorry, it's just been so chaotic. But for today, we are going to, I need like one more science grade. So I think I'm going to pick a book and read it to them and then take a little AR test on it or something because we like are trying to like wrap up our grades so I just want to do one more or I might find like a fun kahoot that we've done already just like as a review so we're gonna do something like that for science something that I really love about this year compared to last year is this year I can like really go on the fly and last year I could never do that I had to like have exactly what I was gonna do have everything ready to go I hated when like, cause the other teacher, the older one um, who had been here longer, she would like, that's just what she would do a lot. She'd be like, just, you know, fill in the time with whatever you wanna do. And I'd be like, I can't, what do I do? And I would like freak out. Whereas this year I'm like, eh, we're gonna do something related to science this morning <laughs> and I'll figure it out as we go. But yeah, so that's been nice to like, be more flexible and like, that kind of stuff and then for reading we have to take probes i think i've talked about this before but it's just like five question quizzes related to a specific standard to try and like help their portfolio it's a lot of work i don't want to explain it again i feel like i explained it in the video before third grade's mandatory attention in florida they have portfolio to show that they can pass the standard so we have to take these little probes to like you know whatever we're gonna do four of those little mini quizzes today and then we're gonna do three little no we're not doing three little pigs we're doing a fairy tale we haven't done any fairy tales this week i had it all printed and ready to do like the last four days do fairy tales and we just haven't been able to get to it because i've had so much to do so we're gonna do a fairy tale today that is my goal and then also we we're supposed to have a retention meeting today we got an email last night that they're just gonna wait until fsa scores come in which i'm kind of annoyed because that's not until the summer so basically i as the teacher will have no input on whether my student gets retained or not i mean i do kind of like i gave my list of like potential retainees but like i'm not going to be there for the meeting to like talk about my students i don't know it's just frustrating like whatever but yeah we're supposed to have that meeting today during planning and now we don't so my planning is free Ooh. and then for math today we i think we're just gonna do something fun because we finished our like major review i think they deserve to do something fun so i think we're gonna do like just a quick fact fluency and then after that we will um, maybe do like a kahoot or quizzes and then it'll be a fun friday so pretty exciting day i think i also need to do a fluency today and i think it's gonna be my last fluency of the year so that's exciting i'm probably gonna put up like a little must do may do list but honestly there's not much for them to do so we'll see hello friends it is planning time i am gonna eat a snack because i am so hungry i don't know what the deal is when i actually eat breakfast i get hungry way quicker than when I don't. It's like my food forgets, my stomach forgets that food is a thing and then I eat it and it's like, oh yeah, now I'm, I want more. I don't know, because I ate breakfast this morning and I haven't been eating breakfast and then I'm like fine till lunch, but then this morning I ate breakfast and I'm starving. Also, there's like an eyelash, it's really bothering me. Okay, I'm gonna eat my snack and then I have to organize the Chromebooks because Monday, they all have to have bring their Chromebooks and chargers back and they have to stay here the rest of the year. And currently our Chromebook cart looks like this. It's literally a hot mess. And then I don't know whose charger is whose because I have like a good like six kids that don't take their Chromebooks home. So like their stuff is here. And then I have some that have like just started leaving theirs here. It's just a mess. So I'm gonna sit here and organize it after I eat my snack. And then if I have time, I'm gonna try and like roll up that rug do something with the shelf so I can start like getting myself organized. Okay, we've got it all organized now. So they'll put theirs in depending on their number. The only issue is there are 
only 20 plugs in this thing and I have 23 kids. So my overflow is over here. 23 and 22 are gonna put theirs here. And then 21, he'll put his back here, which he's usually not here. So that's why he's just gonna have this little weird spot because you know, he's not here every day. So 22 and 23, I'll put theirs there. And then everyone else in here. Hello friends. So I'm in my car. I have it loaded up once again. Shout out to my friend Megan for helping me out loading my car. But I am like sweating and dying because I'm wearing a sweatshirt and it's uh, 76 degrees outside, which is not bad, but it's really humid because it rained all day. But we got it loaded up. We got a lot of things. I got that shelf little bench thing I got this is great lighting by the way wow I got that shelf got my little white rolling cart got my sub tub I don't know, but I got a lot. And then also the teacher that's taking my room, uh, my kids, some of my kids went over and grabbed a few of her things just so that she can kind of slowly start bringing her stuff in. Cause I know if it was me moving classrooms, I would love for someone to like offer, you know, to let me bring stuff over early. So I'm just like, whatever you need, girl, do it. It's not like you're not intruding on us. <laughs> go ahead and bring it over, I don't care. So now I'm heading to go eat some Mexican food with Megan real quick for like an hour and then my friends are coming for my graduation tomorrow. I'm so excited. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in our next one. Bye. Ah!